Seems to be working fine. Well, doing some bike repairs. Um, bike's upside down right now. I'll explain in a second here. But what we're going to replace is actually the the shift uh, controller for the derailleur back here. And I kind of wanted to start back here. Um, if your shifter is broken, most likely the chain's going to default to that smallest uh, gear down here. And that's a good thing. That's where we want to be. And so I have a little bit of a tip once we get into the replacement of this unit. Uh, we have to cut off this little end here on the cable. So, and we'll have to undo this little nut here. And that's, uh, that's how we're going to get started. Okay, so you're going to need a pair of side cutters here. Cut this end off. There we go. And what size is this one? On this bike, anyways, it's at six mil. There we go. Just loosen this off. And okay, so the cable's free now. Uh, when we, I'll turn the bike over now, and uh, since that's free, we'll be able to pull this out through. And. I'll show you how to do the handlebars, get that gear shifter on. Okay, so this is the uh, broken hand grip here. Mine is really broken, so um, it twists and turns, but make a mental note of its positioning. Um, many of them, most do have this adjustment thing here. It just screws off, so you screw that off of down here. And then if this has been twisted, you might have to go searching. There's a little screw here that holds it in place. Uh, so find that. Normally it would be lined up with a hole here, but mine was so broken and twisted that I can actually pull it back. And we're just going to undo this. Take this thing out. And this will release it from the uh, handlebar. You can see that. Okay, that's loose enough. That will come off. Um, now to get these grips off, sometimes they don't want to come off. And actually, when you buy the uh, the replacement kit, most of them do come with a new uh, hand grip also, but mine's in good shape, and I want to reuse it because, I don't know, I just want it to match the other side. I don't want to replace both of them, so I'm just going to, like, uh, give her on this, and it should pop off. I mean, you just have to have some, some power, and oh, there we go. All right, so I got the uh, broken shifter off. Oh, make sure you keep this little ring. That's very important. I'll show you in a second. That just goes in between here so that the uh, hand grip moves easier. Easel, easier. It moves easier. It moves uh, <laughs> moves smoothly. Let's say that. How about? Uh, okay, so let me set this aside. And now, just slide off this. And we detach the uh, cable on the derailleur. So the cable, in theory, it should just pull out. And one thing I want to show you on the uh, new shifter, having to do with this. So the new shifter, it's not adjustable. There's no screw there at all. However, I'm just going to take this and I just have to put it onto the cable. I want to keep this um, because aesthetically it looks good and I think it will slide on to this shifter. I'm just bringing it up now. I mean, at least it looks like it's... Yeah, it does. But it's not, it's not functional. Um, that's a weird thing. I might have to actually put a little bit of something on there some glue or something to hold it in place. I don't know, it's weird, but hey, these are really cheap, so it's not really a, you know, a name brand, so. Anyways, we have this uh, on. For the moment, I'm just gonna slide this here. And we'll start feeding this cable through. So I put the little cap on, I'm gonna feed this through. Now there's a few sections that it has to go through. 
it's not super straight. Well, it's straightforward, but um, but I mean, you have to you have to feed it through places. So I got it started. Where's my end? Okay, so I got it started. And it came out here. Then you have to feed it through this next spot. And then I'm just want to show you again. Lower this down. Many of these bikes are different. Like this might not be exactly how yours is, but so I'm still feeding the cable, and then it will come out here, and then right down here. We have to put it through here. Uh, these can pop out, but that's not that's normal. Um, we'll get that back into place. Okay, so all our cables out here. Oh, so there. Push that up in, and it has another holder back here. You won't be able to see the sun video, but same idea. Push it through. And we'll get the cable in there. Okay, so it's basically set up to go. I'm gonna turn. Okay, this is probably like the important part. You remember when I was showing you at the rear tire, it defaults to that smallest little sprocket. And when you tighten the shifter, it pulls the derailleur in. So you wanna make sure before we do anything in the back, before we tighten it up, it's like, where is this in the scheme of things? And how does it operate? So if I hold here, so I can feel the cable and I wanna find out which way, so it's tightening if I turn it uh, counterclockwise in this case. These shifters are marked left and right. So there's a little stamp on there so right now it's always as if it pulled in so it tightened it up and that would have uh, shifted the or made the derailleur go to the big uh, sock or the big um, socket the, the largest gear um, so we want to loosen this so it's fully out in the fully out position and then once we get this uh, done up then when you turn it's gonna pull the cable and uh, make you go to a higher gear, I guess. Depends how you look at it. Make you go to the big gear. So anyways, this is all hooked up. Well, this should hold it in place, but yeah. Okay. The grip's um, on, and this turns out that's a Phillips. And I think it's kind of lined up. It looks uh, similar to the other side and everything. So I'm just going to go and give this a good uh, tighten here. This holds the whole thing in place. Okay, that's as well, that's as tight as I could make that. And remember the uh, little washer thing? So put that on. Find the smooth side. And slide that there. And I'm gonna put my old grip back on. Okay, so that's good. And again, make sure that's already, it's turned so that all the cable is out. And that way when we adjust it, it will pull in that uh, derailleur and change the gears. So, okay, let me turn the bike upside down and we'll hook up the cable on the back. Okay, so we fed all the cable in and it comes out here. You might have to back it up a little bit because you have to make sure you come out on the outside of the derailleur and all we're going to do is uh, take your cable, slide it under that little retaining. There's a little, it's like a little clip thing. I'm just going to give this a pull. Now I think, just make sure there's no slack in that cable. And then we're just going to tighten this up. 
then we can test. Okay, now when you go to the final tightening, provide some support back here because otherwise, I mean, it's gonna want to slide this thing in, and I don't know. You can might be able, you might bend something, but just hold it in place with your hand, tighten it down good, and in theory, this should be fine. You might want to come back and uh, cut some of this cable off. Right now, it's not pokey at the end. They put something on there, so that's kind of nice, but. I'll see if it gets in the way I'll I'll chop it off but anyways let me uh, get set up and we can uh, test this thing make sure it's working there Seems to be working fine. There you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, come back for more.